Peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, it's your boy, the Big Slam Hope. I got a message for y'all today. I want y'all to hear me out very carefully. Okay? Because there's a lot of you brothers running around here acting just like your mama. You act just like your woman. You know? But you sit around in the internet all day and complain about the woman. And you act just like them. So before I even get into my dialogue and my spiel, let me tell y'all something real quick. Just because I don't disrespect you, don't mean I respect you. I know that's that's gonna go over a lot of heads, but I'm, I'm gonna break it down to you. Just because I don't disrespect you, don't mean I respect you. Now, I'm not gonna go out of my way to disrespect you, to call you out your name. You know, to do some of those things, that's that's childish, right? But it doesn't mean you have earned my respect. Respect is earned. The real men know what I'm talking about. Respect is earned. And this don't even got to be streets. But it's about what have you done? What have you done to earn your respect? Now, sometimes in the streets, yeah, you put in your work. You earn your respect, right? Like if somebody disrespected you, you know, you you, you take care of your business and the and in the neighborhood he is like, yeah, he earned his respect. But outside of that, what have you done? What have you built? What reputation have you presented for yourself? Right? That has earned the respect of other men and other people in the community. See, because a lot of men think they deserve respect just because they got a penis. Nah, brother, y'all got this stuff all wrong. See? And this goes back to a lot of y'all be thinking like y'all mamas. Like the woman in your life. See, women have this fake idea of how the world should be. They live in a fantasy world. They live in la-la land. They live in a world of, oh, everybody should be respecting each other. And everybody should just get along. And everybody, that's not the reality of the world. And men know that. Real men, not males that just got the organ. The men know that respect is earned. That respect comes with admiration of fear usually. And the fear doesn't have to be of violence. But violence is always present when men deal with other men. Right? That's, that's how they check each other. Not just in the wild, but also in the social human hierarchy. Right? This is why men don't really get into things with other men. Right? I read a saying, a, a saying that was saying, the tough guys don't act tough with the tough guys. You know why? Because they know that could bring about catastrophic results. So when a tough guy sees another tough guy, he, he you know, he knows like, okay, <laughs> I see you. And he'd be like, I see you too. You know, lions don't fight a lot of other lions all the time. Sometimes they see each other. Sometimes they do get into fights. And sometimes they just look at each other and they go their own way because they know. If we get it on, somebody might die. Somebody might not make it home. Same thing happens with men. But anyway, back to how y'all be out here acting like y'all mamas. I see men get on the internet and complain day in and day out. And talk about, oh, women don't take accountability. The women are doing this. The women are doing that. The woman, the woman, the woman. Right? And I can agree with some of the things. But I rarely hear the brothers talk about how the brothers don't be taking accountability either. Here you are complaining about the woman not taking accountability. Here you are complaining about how the woman has replaced you with the welfare system. How they done, they done aided the government in kicking you out the home. How the woman don't respect the man. How the woman this. I hear the complaints all day long, right? But, but do you ever ask yourself? Why should she keep you around? What have you done? How have you proved yourself? Except complain and not take accountability for your own failures. Except complain and sit around and wait for the government to save you. You talk about them going to the government. You waiting on reparations. You waiting on, on government aid. You waiting on government help. When the, when the men of old... They would have got together and kicked the back door. 
make excuses, no accountability. No accountability whatsoever from the men. All you want is, but the woman is this and the woman and the woman and you know the woman helping the white man and the bro, what what do you hear yourself? And you wonder why your woman don't respect you. Now don't get me wrong, this ain't a pass for you disrespectful sisters to jump on this bandwagon. I'm just trying to hold my brothers accountable. Now I'm gonna resume to schedule programming. Yeah. And you wonder why some of y'all don't get no respect. Not just from the woman, but from the man. You wonder why you don't get no respect? Because you haven't earned it, homie. You think because you went to school and got a degree, you deserve respect? Huh? You think you got a little money? You earned respect? What is your morals? What is your principles? What is your mission? How are you a pillar in your community? How are you uplifting your brother, your fellow brothers? Have you earned respect, homie? But you sit around here and you complain about chicks. You tell them you don't care about their degree. You think I'm, you think I'm going to care about yours? You think I'm going to care about yours because you went to a Morehouse? Or you went to Howard? I could care less what HBCU you went to. You think I care? I care about how you are helping improve our community. How are you guiding our young men? How are you helping our young sisters? Hmm? That's what I care about. How are you trying to aid the community to get out this mess that we are in? You know? So, when I hear you brothers sit here and complain and not take accountability, the same thing that the women do, I can't help but to think like, yo, you behaving just like the women. You behaving just like the women. Complaining, not taking accountability. If you scared to fight, look, look, I get it, man. Some of us are scared, right? We seen what they did to the other courageous brothers. They killed them. They locked them up. Some of them still serving prison sentences. The brother Herman Bell came home not to maybe like a few years ago. He did 40 years, right? 40 years. Other brothers were released after doing 20 years. You know? Mumi Abu Jamal still in prison. Right? So I get it. George Jackson, he was killed in prison. You know, so I get it. A lot of y'all are scared. I get it. If you scared, I'd rather you sit here and tell me, like, yo, bro, I'm scared, homie. I'm scared to be the man that I needed to be. I'm scared to be the pillar in the community that I needed to be. I'm scared because of what they done to the brothers that came before us. I'm scared. I'd rather that than you sit here and make excuses. Well, you know, it's the woman for and the woman's and the woman be going to welfare. Bro, what have you provided that is going to keep the woman from going to welfare? Answer me that, brothers. What have you done? That's, that that could at least shift the mindset of the woman. And again, I'm not making a case for the disrespectful sisters that we have in our communities. But I'm saying, what have you done to counter, right? What have we done as men to be accountable, to step up to the plate? And congratulations to the brothers who have been stepping up to the plate. Congratulations to the brothers who have been in their children's lives. Right? It has never been this high in the last 30 years. Congratulations to those parents who have been, to those black fathers who have been the most involved. Hopefully it was in a positive way, right? The more, they, they've been involved in their children's lives. Congratulations to those brothers. Okay? But what have we done for the community, man? What have we done? How have we cultivated a, a safe space for our women? Oh man, we always talking about the woman. But how have we cultivated a safe space in our community for our children? For them to be able to play in the park and be safe. For our women to be able to walk down their own streets in their neighborhoods safe. Hmm? 
We all should feel safe in our communities, even the men. What have we done to make the community a safe space for each other, for other men? What have we done? We don't do nothing but get on the internet and complain about the women. The women are designed a certain way. They're designed to be catty. They're designed to not take accountability and not see their own faults. I'm going to take that. I don't know if they're designed for that. But you get what I'm saying. They're designed to be a certain way. They're designed to talk more than us. They're designed to complain. They're designed to nag. They're designed to be a certain way. So we're going to follow suit? Come on, bro. We're going to start moving like them? You hear some of these dudes, they be catty just like the women. You ever try to correct a man? And he look at you like, I don't like how you said that to me. And it's like, yo, bro, you sound just like the chicks. I know, I know some of you ain't going to like this. Oh, well. Oh, well. Some of us need to hear this. Because some of us never had another man talking to us. Man to man. Man to man. Without getting our feelings hurt like our sisters. That's why I don't even talk to women. Because when you to them, everything is about tone. I don't like the way you said it. And you could you could have said it in the most beautiful way. But that's how they're wired. They're wired to just they hear, they hear the <laughs> the tone. They want to tone police. They want to tell you, like, I don't like the way you said it, and it made me feel. They're more concerned about how the words you use made them feel than what you actually said. But my problem is when I see men act like this, you be acting just like your mama. I said this in the other video, too. You're combative just like your mama. Just like your mama. And then when you get out there in the street and the male police tell you to do something, even if it's not in a crazy way, you want to be combative like your mama. When somebody in authority tell you something, or try to tell you, hey, bro, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Because you never had a daddy in the home, or you never had no male leadership. You get offended. Just like your mama. You want to be an independent woman just like your mama. Nah, bro. That's not how this shit works. That's not how it works, brother. We really need to get ourselves together, man. We need to get ourselves together. We need to return to being pillars of our community again. Men lead, women follow, but a lot of us ain't leading, bro. A lot of us ain't leading. We want respect and we ain't even prove ourselves. We didn't even show nothing. You just want respect because you got a penis. Bro, you bugging, bro. There's work that needs to be done. There's work that needs to be put in. You know what I'm saying? You know, the Spartans used to have this thing where you get sent from when you was young, right? At seven years old, they was taking you to join the military forces, right? At seven years old, they was taking you and training you. If you was born with a defect, they'll throw you off the mountain. We don't need you. Yep, they'll throw you off the mountain. Yeah, you might sound a little harsh and that's not fair and that's not right. Oh well, life ain't right, ain't fair, right? In the jungle, in the wild, the weakest link get caught up. Yeah, we live on the, in cities with governments, but guess what? The government don't care about the people. So what we gonna do as men? We gonna sit around and cry about the government and wait on reparations and wait on the government to help us? Are we gonna get up? Are we, are we gonna kick the back door in? What we gonna do? Cause we could sit around and go to the government like the women. But why did the women go to the government? Cause we gave up the fight. And again, I'm not talking about those disrespectful sisters who ain't got no regard for their men. I'm talking about the sisters who was left with no choice because we dropped the ball. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the sisters that was left with no choice because we dropped the ball. So 
back to the Spartans. And then they'll take you to the mountains, right? And then you have to find your way back home. I think, I believe, in like around like the, the teenage years, right? Or, or early 12s. You had to find your way back home. They'll leave you in the mountain, and you had to find your way back home. So you might encounter bears, wolves, all type of stuff. And if you didn't make it home, then you just wasn't strong enough. But this is how they had to prove themselves. See, a lot of communities, a lot of cultures had a, a way of passage. Or when and how you go from a boy to a man. That is missing in our communities. But yet somehow we feel like I deserve respect. What you done for respect? See, when that young man made it home from the mountains, he earned his respect. He earned it. He deserved it. And why? Because he went through the journey. A lot of us, we just want the respect because we got a penis. Come on, brothers. Come on. I know some of y'all going to think I'm bugging. This going to be hurting a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all going to be triggered. <laughs> A lot of y'all panties going to be who up y'all crotch after listening to this one. But it needs to be said. See, because I'm fair. I let the women have it, and I let the brothers have it. And I'm actually a little harsher on the men, honestly. I'm saying I'm a little harsher on the men. Because we lead and they follow, bro. We got to get our stuff right. We got to get our stuff right, brothers. We got to stop acting like our sisters. Gotta stop throwing shade on one another. When a brother stands up for a sister, we quick to call him a, a panda, a panderer. Again, some dudes do be pandering. We know the dudes that be pandering. That they trying to bamboozle our sister so they can sell a book or so they can sell them some merchandise. Because women are the biggest consumers. So if a guy get on here like Derek Jackson, right, that was cheating on his wife, that was mistreating her. You know, telling women everything they wanted to hear just so they could buy his books and his his products. Those dudes, we ain't talking about those dudes. We need to get rid of them dudes too. I'm talking about when a man tries to stand up for a woman. Right? We quick to call him dude a panda bear and this and that. Or he being a simp. Nah, homie. We should protect our women. I'm not saying that there's not no simps out there. I need y'all to understand the difference. We're supposed to be protecting our women. We're supposed to be protecting our fellow brothers, our children, our elderly. Why do people feel so comfortable disrespecting our women in our community? Hmm? Why women don't feel safe walking on their own blocks? Why children don't feel safe in their communities? Why the elderly feel afraid? Like, I, I see some stories of elderly, elderly people being attacked. Like, like what is going on? What is going on? We should feel safe in our own communities, bro. Our women should feel safe. Our black men should feel safe. Our children should feel safe. Damn, is this too much to ask, man? Is this too much to ask? But again, man, we gotta put we gotta put in that work. And like I said in the beginning, just because I don't disrespect you. Don't mean you earned my respect. Right? So let's stop shaming one another. When a man's standing up for what's right, don't shame him. Don't call him a dweeb. Don't call him a loser. Don't call him a panda bear. You should be standing up too. You should be standing up too. Somebody trying to help us or preach the good word, we be like, well, here come Brother Malcolm. We be trying to be funny. Here come Dr. King. That's corny, bro. That's corny. Because that brother had the courage to speak out against something that he seen. Right? We only want to be vocal when it's the police, but when it's one of us, we don't never, nah, man, shut up, man. Come on, man. You being a sucker, man. You being a... Nah, homie. But... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't went too long in this video. Um, but yeah, brother, we got to stop acting like the women. Let's go back to being men. Right? Don't buy the hype and tell, yeah, be into your feelings more. And tell us how you feel and cry more and, and do all of these things. Bro, stop listening to women, homie. And them funny, weird men. Okay? Stop listening 
to women when they try to tell you how you should be a man. Them women got bigger problems. They need to worry about how to be feminine and be women. They don't need to be worrying about how a man should be a man. They need to be worried how they're going to go back to their divine femininity. They need to mind their business when it comes to masculinity and manhood. They need to be worried and focused on how they're going to become the feminine women that they need to be. Because the community needs that. We don't need the masculine, aggressive woman. We've seen what they've done. We need the feminine, divine feminine, just like we need the masculine, divine masculine man. But if y'all sitting out here with panties in your crotch, acting like the women, where are we going? You complain about the woman being masculine, but you don't look at your own goddamn reflection. And how much of a sucker you have become. You don't look at your own reflection. You don't look at your emotional outbursts. You don't look at what you do that is directly correlated with emulating your mama. You don't even look at yourself. So hopefully some brothers on this will have a self-awareness, self-reflection, right? About how men are not supposed to make excuses, right? Yeah, there's a reason for things. But after that, we got to figure out answers, homie. We got to be decisive. We can't sit around, wait around with a cup in our hand. The women is cool. They get away with doing that. Sitting around with a cup in their hand. We got to figure out answers. You know, we got to kick the back door in. That's just what we got to do. Let me know what y'all thoughts are. Right? Hopefully I said something that's beneficial. Uh, and it will help us in our quest to achieving divine masculinity. So that we could be safe from each other's violence. And our communities could be safe. Stay blessed. Peace.